Hey guys, it's Vivian 91, and I'm talking about the Xbox Series X. Why? Because Microsoft has released some details about the Xbox Series X. Not too many, just a quick glance, I want to say. It's kind of like when they released what was then called Project Scorpio during that E3, I believe, and they just gave a few quick details, nothing too substantial about it. And that's what they're doing here. We have five details right here in front of you. It will be 12 teraflops. Now, I just want to talk about that for a second. Just because it has more teraflops than the RTX 2080 does not mean that the graphics are going to look better than the RTX 2080. There's a lot more about a graphics card than just teraflops. Variable rate shading, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Hardware accelerated direct X ray tracing, that's cool. So it actually will have ray tracing, that's good. Quick resume for multiple games. Now, that's something I want to talk about because that is greatness. But if you guys know about the current generation, when you have one game playing, you can leave it, turn the system off. If your system is set to instant on mode, I believe, come back and continue right where you left off. And that is cool. But to do that for multiple games is greatness. And then it says smart delivery. I have no clue what that is. But this is just a few little tidbits that they gave out. And from what these look, they do look promising. 12 teraflops is very good, especially for a console. And it makes me think that these next gen consoles are going to be a force to be reckoned with. I'm not saying they're going to like take over gaming PCs, but because they're not. Even with 12 teraflops, I doubt they're going to look like a GTX 1080i or an RTX 2080i. But these new generation consoles aren't making the same mistakes that the this generation did because when like the Xbox One and even the PS4 were released, they were way behind even like base gaming graphic cards. So it's good to see that the next generation of Xbox and PlayStation seem like they're probably going to be not on par, but around that with the current gaming level graphic cards. But what do you think about these details that Microsoft released about the Xbox Series X? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.